Assalamu alaikum, I am Talham Nhas from Reborn Associate and I will give you some tips of uh, the PTE reading section. Uh, first tip is that you have to familiarize yourself with the question types. Uh, we have to understand the types of reading questions that appear in the PTE exam, uh, which includes uh, fill in the blanks, uh, both read and write and read fill in the blanks, multiple choice, multiple answers and reorder paragraphs. So, uh, knowing what to accept will help you uh, go through ease in the exam and practice it regularly. So, the second is enhancing your reading speed because in the reading part, uh, the time is limited and there's a wholesome time given to you. So, you have to improve your reading skills. Uh, read the Economist, read the New York Times and uh, your own uh, local English uh, magazines which are very, very important for your reading speed. So, you have to practice uh, reading passages and, uh, you know, translate them in your own language, in your own uh, local language. So, you ha understand it uh, better. And you have to focus on what you are reading, which is very important. Just reading English does not uh, give you ooh, enough grip. You have to understand what's written in the paragraph. Uh, before answering, especially the multiple choices, you have to skim through the answer options first and also in the, uh, in the um, fill in the blanks. So it will give you much better uh, uh, capability to answer the question. Uh, we have to pay attention to the context. Uh, this is very important because in the reading parts, there is much more of a context given in complete passages, in complete uh, paragraphs. So, understanding the context can help you find your answer options better. And you have to manage your time wisely, which is very, very important key in the reading PT because the time is wholesome time. There's only one time uh, given to you from the start to the end. And if you spend more time on one of the examples or one of the paragraphs, uh, you will lose your time overall. All and uh, at the end, it may be difficult for you to cover up. Uh, practice a lot, practice with sample tests, which is very, very important. The key to reading is practicing and reading. Build your vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary is very, very important uh, in the PT reading. Overall, in English language tests, it is important, but in the reading part, it is really, really necessary that you build up your vocabulary. And improve your reading comprehension. Uh, I have told you that you can uh, do it with your uh, local English magazines, with Economist, New York Times, or any other magazine or any other newspaper which you get. And get that editorial portion of it. Read it thoroughly. Understand it. Mark it. Highlight the difficult parts. So you have to spend some time. You have to pitch in. Uh, in the reading part because uh, to score good in the reading you have to give your fullest you have to give you have to develop the groundwork of reading because in PT the most difficult section is the reading because people do not score good they do not have the uh, capability or, and they do not want to put in the work to do the reading part they just uh, sort out the shortcuts but uh, let me tell you that in PT reading uh, there are no shortcuts. You have to build your ground in the reading section, in the reading of paragraphs. So thank you so much and uh, please subscribe, please like, please share uh, the videos and uh, I'm really grateful for the audience uh, for giving me a positive response. So uh, let's uh, see you on the next section. Take care.